<laughs> Rocks riser. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the shop. Today we're working on the Super Tanare. So I've had the bike for about a year now and overall I really like it. Probably my primary complaint with it is that the handlebars sit a little bit too low. So what we're going to do today is try and fix that problem by installing some handlebar risers on the bike. So these are the risers that we picked up. They're made by a company called Rox. They're machined aluminum, really solid. I think they're gonna work really well. All right, so you get your instructions, your risers, and a sticker. Everybody needs more stickers. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and loosen up these bolts and get the bars loose. I think we have to reroute a couple of the cables. If you're gonna do risers on your bike, make sure you do some compatibility research for whatever brand of riser you're gonna get. Some of them require different cable sizes, some work with the stock cables. Your mileage may vary depending on the bike, but do your homework ahead of time so you don't end up with surprises. Oh God, those are on there. I'm gonna break this poor little wrench. All right, so we got the caps taken off. We're gonna go ahead and set these aside and get the bars pulled. So some of these are gonna be removable zip ties. Go ahead and remove those in a non-destructive manner. All right, so I think what I need to do is pull some of the surrounding fairings and plastics and stuff so I can get at this a bit better. Next, we need to go ahead and relocate the clutch and brake line cable mounts a little bit. Alt Rider makes a little kit that you can use to get an extra inch or so of slack out of those. So that should give us just enough clearance so we shouldn't have to change any of our lines. All right, so you go ahead and take this cable tie clip, do hicker bobber apart. Don't uh, shank yourself with the screwdriver in the process. Okay, using a eight millimeter wrench, go ahead and remove this mount that holds this bracket in place. Underneath here, there's a little bitty bolt that holds this bracket in place. So you're gonna grab your eight millimeter wrench again and take out that bolt and remove this bracket and set it aside. So take the bolt that you just removed and then the insulated clamp from the kit. You're gonna use this to go onto the brake line and then you're gonna mount the brake line to the bike using that same hole that the original bracket came out of. You're gonna have to squeeze this together once you get it over the brake line. Jeez, that's tight, damn. Makes sense. Is that in or not? I can't tell. That's what she says. Now you remove the similar bracket on the clutch side and rotate it up a little bit Pry it open and take this bracket off and go ahead and set that aside. Take the fuel line that you provided and a razor knife and go ahead and split the line. This will let us slip this over the clutch line and then zip tie it in place to protect the line from the frame from abrasion. We're gonna take our hose and slip it over the hard line behind the fitting and then you should have gotten a zip tie in your kit if you use the same kit or just grab a normal zip tie and use one or two of them to hold the line take a pair of pliers or flush cutters or whatever cutting device you can get in there and trim those zip ties take your old bracket Close it back together, bolt it back in place, but don't have it over the line. Okay. So now take your big zip tie through that bracket hanger and around the rubber bit. All right, so now we should be able to go ahead and start installing the risers. Note, when you do this, these caps are not equal. They're a little bit taller on this side, and there's a little dot underneath this bolt. That dot goes forward when you put these on, and you'll tighten that cap down first, and then set your tension with the rear cap. When you put these on, if you put both caps in, 
these risers won't clear these bolts, which means you only get like a couple degrees of adjustment here. So what you can do is you can actually cock these back and then there's a hole in it. You can put your rear bolt in through that and access it through the access hole in the riser. Kind of a cool little detail that I'm glad they thought of. Now we go ahead and grab our bars and see if we can get them to clear. Loosely place these on here just to hold it in place. These caps don't seem to have the same directionality, so I think they go on just whichever way. We need to very carefully just see if we can get the clearance for all of these parts. Where are we on? There we go. I'm gonna get these just loosely tightened down, and then we'll go ahead and set the position for the bars. What did you say about protecting the tank? <laughs> yeah, that. Since we're going to do mostly seated, I'm going to leave them at kind of a level slash maybe slightly upward angle. Also, make sure you get your bar centered in the risers. One of the things you'll have to do is gently bend up this guide for the throttle cables. That'll just get you some extra clearance so that you don't bind when you turn. We can go ahead and zip tie our control, zip ties back on. What you'll want to do now is check your four T's. First one's throttle, so you'll put the bike in neutral and understand, start it up, run, let it idle, and then run your bars through the full range of motion and make sure your idle doesn't change at all during your motion. And the second one is your tension, so you'll check from left lock, center, and right, make sure all your cables are the not like binding and they're not straining. Third one is turn. So you're gonna make sure that you can hit the turn stops and center for the whole range of your bike without anything getting in the way. And the last T is to test ride it and make sure everything's good to go. All right, so we got the bike all put back together. I think it feels a little bit better. It still may be a little too far away. I think that's partially because I have the bars tipped up a little bit to be a bit more in between for sitting and standing. I think if I loosened up these and tilted the bars back, I could get another half inch or so. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Bye. Look for me at all. So I just do the whole thing in like a Southern girl. Yeah. So today we got me here a handlebar do Hickerman bobber. It's going to make the bike more comfortable. We don't actually need to swap the brace and clutch. Abrasion clutch. What do I do with my hands? And you'll have a insulated. Alrighty. Um, so, and, but therefore, um,